We know modern industry is heating the planet, raising temperatures, seas, and the odds of extreme weather. But a new study suggests humans were nudging climate long before smokestacks during the Roman Empire. In Climate of the Past, an international team reconstructed Roman land use, clearing forests, farming, and burning fields, and fed those estimates into an aerosol-enabled global climate model. Deforestation and other land changes produced a modest warming of about 0.15 degrees Celsius. Yet the smoke mattered more. Aerosols from widespread agricultural burning reflected sunlight and altered clouds, tipping the balance toward cooling. Depending on how intense the researchers assumed Roman emissions were, the modeled net effect was a temperature drop of roughly 0.17 degrees Celsius, 0.23 degrees Celsius, or even 0.46 degrees Celsius. The cooling wasn't uniform. Central and Eastern Europe saw the strongest dip, while parts of North Africa and the Middle East warmed instead. Researchers have debated Rome's environmental footprint for decades, but this work is among the first to treat aerosol pollution as a serious counterweight. Even so, the authors caution the result is sensitive to assumptions, especially when burning happens seasonally and how natural aerosols behaved. The takeaway? In classical antiquity, people likely influenced continental-scale climate, subtly but measurably, not the climate change we fear today.